a last minute gift idea that could also be a lifeline for some struggling restaurant owners. Eat Local New York rolling out its annual discount card this fall and coming at a crucial time. News Channel Line's Kate Douglas shows us how the group is working to bring customers in, even if they're just taking out. Getting more people in the door. So, um, you purchase the card for $25. and then That's the goal of the Eat Local New York card. It's a one-time purchase that can be used for discounts at participating locally owned restaurants in central New York. And they're going to use it to go out to eat maybe you know, one or two extra times a month because they can save money. Uh, maybe they're going to use it and they're going to spend more money when they go out to eat because they can save a few dollars. Eat Local New York started selling the card three years ago and its participation has grown. This year's latest edition coming at a time when many restaurants are struggling to keep the lights on. I mean, just in 2020, for the restaurants that we work with, which we work, we right now have 150 that are on our uh, card across the state. But just in 2020, 18 of them have either closed permanently or temporarily. And that's just the ones on our card. And even more challenging for the kitchens that are still cooking. It feels like we're starting new again after five years of being in business. The initiative is free for restaurant owners to join. And Eat Local NY provides free marketing resources, all in an effort to boost business and encourage people to dine small. The Eat Local card has been great. I love, we are very passionate about supporting local, other places like that. So it's great to be able to team up with other restaurants, um, especially during times like this, and stress how important it is to support local right now. The card can be used through December 2021. It's a gift that gives back all year long. Kate Douglas, News Channel 9. Eat Local New York donates 20% of its card sales to a new charity every year. This year, it's the United Way of Central New York, and so far, they've raised $2,500.